We're covering five ways to vision board on iPad. And to just give you a hint, the last method for vision boarding is my personal favorite. Visualizing things is extremely powerful and incorporating written word to trick or train your brain into focusing on the things you want to accomplish can be achieved through vision boarding. I'm personally still trying to find my way with vision boarding because I struggle with wanting things to look perfect and aesthetic so I can capture people's attention when I do share my vision board. But we have to remember and myself included, that it's more important to have images and words that remind us of what we set out to do rather than what we think random people on the internet will like. So with that little caveat, I am going to share different ways you can vision board on the iPad to truly accomplish your goals beyond the aesthetics, okay? I could go on all day about that. So this is probably the simplest way, but opening up GoodNotes or whatever note-taking app that you use on iPad that allows you to drop in images and then starting with a simple blank page. And then adding your pictures and either typing or writing your manifestations. I don't see this in too many vision boards, especially the pretty ones you'll see on Instagram, but it really is important to write out what you're hoping to manifest, what you're hoping to accomplish through these visual examples and to write as if you've already achieved them. For example, for the past two years, my biggest goal was to buy my first home. Of course, I can add pictures of people buying their first home or DIY projects I'd love to do in my first home, but I also wrote out, I am a homeowner. I'm a big proponent of fake it till you make it when it comes to my goals and seeing myself already as a homeowner really fueled my passion into taking the steps to achieve it. It really is such a simple thing to do, a little mindset trick, but it really does have a huge shift over time. A spin on this method of vision boarding is to vision board directly inside a digital planner. If you use your digital planner pretty often, creating your vision board inside your digital planner ensures that you'll see the vision board. You can create the vision board exactly the same as you would with the previous example of using the tools inside your note-taking app to add pictures, to type, and to handwrite. As a bonus tip, you can bookmark that page that you've created your vision board on so you can always quickly navigate back to it. There are also fun tricks that you can do in GoodNotes like doodling and drawing out your shape or using advanced text tools to add in some of those goals to your vision board. I also have affirmation and doodle type stickers that I've created to make it really easy to create a meaningful spread that are available in my shop and they're linked in the description below. Another way you can create a vision board on the iPad is through Canva. Canva already has templates and tons of built-in stickers and elements that you can use to build a vision board that really speaks to you and what you hope to accomplish. This is a great option if you're short on time and wanna build a board really quickly for the month or for the year, and you can save it as an image and even use it as your wallpaper. If you're after a more refined look for your vision board, Milano is an app where you can drop your pictures in and then add text for your manifestations. You can of course overlap images and decorate your vision board however you like, but Milano is very much a mind mapping tool and can be used in a unique way to map out your vision board. I like the neater look of Milano and I think it's a unique way to create and share your vision board with the world and most importantly for yourself. If you want to get extremely creative with your vision board and maybe you really want to speak to your artistic nature for the month or for the year, Procreate is one of the best options for vision boarding. Procreate has a wide variety of different tools and brushes to get the exact look and vibe that you're going for. And you can of course purchase brushes and stamps if you're after something with a very specific look and wanna support other Procreate designers. You can drag and drop your pictures, create different canvas sizes, and a whole host of other things to really personalize your vision board. If one of your goals is to get better at Procreate or learn new things in Procreate, I think it's one of the best ways to achieve that goal is to start by building your vision board in Procreate on the iPad. And lastly, my personal favorite is to use Apple's Freeform app. Freeform is a collaborative and flexible canvas that you can use for research, mood boarding, mind mapping, whatever you want it to be, honestly. But it's incredible for things like vision boards because of how interactive and immersive Freeform is. For instance, you can add almost any file inside Freeform, so your vision board doesn't need to be just pictures. It can be video, it can be PDFs, it can be text, it can be whatever you'd like it to be. Maybe it's a goal of yours to get better at Photoshop or Illustrator, and what better way to envision yourself using those more advanced programs than adding a Photoshop or Illustrator file directly into Freeform where you can practice. I think it's truly an incredible app for a lot of reasons. If you wanna check out a full walkthrough and tutorial of the Freeform app, I'll have that linked in the description below. But again, Freeform is a really unique app for creating things like vision boards. 
And those are the five ways to vision board on the iPad. I think vision boarding, whether you love it or hate it, is an incredibly personal experience for everyone. And I hope this video helped you see different ways you can create a vision board to achieve your specific goals and intentions. I would love to know if you vision board and if so, what is your process for creating them on the iPad? If you do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.